It's here now. The workflow for two personal LoRa's in one image is ready. It's an amazing workflow, version 2 of the previous one, and it's not only way faster, but also way more accurate. And as you can see in the pictures, the way the two characters match together in the image is just flawless. It has really high precision and it's completely automatic. You pretty much don't need to do anything manually. You can easily load the two LoRa's you've previously trained into the workflow right in these two sections you see here. We have got two LoRa slots and just by giving one prompt and a few more details, you can get both people in your image without their faces blending together. And it's seriously impressive. Before this, if you wanted to use two LoRa's, whatever image we generated, it would combine the two LoRa's and we've end up with mixed version of both faces. The workflow couldn't separate the two individuals and place them in separate faces and bodies. But now you can see that this workflow has done that really well and with great precision. So here in the first part, just like always, you've got the flux dev and the dual clips and the VAE models. And then we've got two LoRa sections where in the first node you need to load the flux turbo and first person's LoRa and in the second one the flux turbo and the second person's lura for training lura i will explain later in this video here's where you can set the image size width and height and this part is super important in the prompt section you need to write your main prompt here and in these two separated sections you write a short description about the first person and the second person the stuff you write in these two sections could also be part of your main prompt. But I actually recommend taking that out of the main prompt and just putting it here in these two parts. And you know, we can set the left and right size yourself. So this is the prompt section where the initial image is generated. If you notice guys, this workflow has three parts. In the first part, the image that's created is made with the first LoRa, only with the first LoRa. And if you look closely, both the man and the woman in the image look the same and both faces are from the first LoRa. And then in the second step, it automatically selects one of the people. And here we've got the Florence and Sam segmentations models, which I link for you in the description so you can see how to download those models although these nodes usually auto download the selected models by default so there's no need to download them manually but if you run into any problems you can always ask me and i'll help you out there's a really important point here i've marked it in red so you'll pay attention to this node in this node we can choose between the numbers zero and one and if we've got two characters, we can assign one of them a value between 0 and 1. After the first image is generated, you'll see that the workflow detects both people in the image. And it is an automatic process. And it assigns one of them the number 1. Here is number 1. And the other one gets number 0. Now the number you set here in this red note tells the workflow which person you want to change. And pay attention, since our original image was generated using the first LoRa, the person we want to change here is definitely going to be the one we'll swap with the second LoRa. And if you notice, the second LoRa here is a man. So I 100% want the person on the right who is the man in the first image to be the one that changes. So that means the number here has to be zero. Sometimes the image that gets generated might have the two people swapped, like the man might end up on the left and the woman on the right. And honestly, that can be random sometimes. So you start with zero, and if you see that the person showed up on the other side, just change the number to one and regenerate. So yeah, you just flip it to one and hit generate again. And now it is select the person on the left instead. But it's better if you actually write it clearly in your prompt, 
like say the man is on the right and the woman is on the left. Just define left and right in your prompt clearly and also make sure you describe each person properly in these two sections. And remember this one is for the first Laura and this one is for the second Laura. So for example if your first Laura is a woman make sure the description here matches that. Like if you want her to wear a dress you need to write that here. And then for the second Laura, if it's a man, here's where you'd say something like he's wearing a suit. I also marked this node red to match the other one so you don't get them confused. Here when you give it either 0 or 1, it changes the selection. 0 selects one person, 1 selects the other. So once it's selected the person you specified here, it moves on the final step and replaces that selected part and you will see that it places the second person and if you pay attention the second image is super clean and seamless it's done the swap really smoothly the prompt i used was a man and a woman wearing ancient roman clothing standing in an open area i've got two more examples to show you here this one is for the wedding photo where i use one female laura and one male laura and if you notice, it did it really well. I mean, if you and your partner want to have a wedding photo, you can easily train two Lauras and load them into these two sections and boom, you'll have a wedding photo with almost zero cost. It's amazing, guys. Okay, this is the final example. And again, I loaded two Lauras here. You can see it selected the left side and this is kind of random. Sometimes it'll set the left to zero and other times it'll set the right to zero. So you can just regenerate two or three times and adjust the numbers to get it the way you want. And if you pay attention here it managed to place the two people next to each other. And with any prompts you can do this for all kinds of positions. Okay now for training Laura as I mentioned before the best and most cost effective way for those who don't have really powerful systems and honestly most of us don't have super powerful systems is to use a service like OpenArt. In this part I want to quickly teach you the best website where you can train your LoRa very fast to use it in those workflows. It really doesn't need any introduction. I've mentioned OpenArt in many of my videos for creating LoRa's I mean personal Loras of your own face, your loved one's face, or even a cartoon character you'd like to have. The best option to do this online and quickly with a very reasonable cost is the OpenArt website, in my opinion. You can access OpenArt through the link I've placed in the description. This link is related to Joker AI and if you sign up through it, it works as an affiliate link for me and helps me out a bit too. So thank you in advance. You enter through this link and click on sign in button. Here you can sign in with your Google, Discord, Twitter or even with an email address and it's very simple. After you sign up and purchase your plan, you will see a page like this where it shows you the amount of credits you've bought down here. Now for training model, it's really simple. You go to the model section and click on train your own models here and next you select the face here as you can see you have other options too in this part you can give your model a name for example i'll call it model 22 just as an example in this section you can upload your photos the most important part you can upload anywhere from four to 500 photos to the site so it can create a model for you based on them the more photos you have and the more variety in them the better your laura will be i've prepared a set of photos of a woman i found online and downloaded her pictures so i can use them to teach you 
it's very easy. I currently have exactly 100 photos of this woman and I want to create a Laura using those pictures. As you can see, I have photos of her in different poses, different conditions, different outfits, lighting and aspect ratios. You just need to click on the upload image button and you can add the photos one by one or you can drag and drop your images in this section. Also, you need to upload at least four images. You can select and upload multiple photos at once. For example, I select from here to here four images and drop them in. If you try to upload all 100 at once, the site might crash or not be able to handle all of them simultaneously. So I recommend uploading four to 10 photos at a time. I'll upload the photos now and we'll watch the video afterward. Okay, it's done. You can see that I've uploaded all 100 photos and they're all displayed here. You can actually use far fewer. 20 is more than enough. Even I've created Laura's with just 15 photos and even with only 4 photos, you can have a very good Laura. So don't worry if you don't have many images. If you have just 4 photos of a person or a face, you can still create a good Laura. I chose 100 photos because I wanted a very high quality Laura. Here I click on upload in order that I upload my images into the website. If you have more than 80 photos, make sure to set the number of steps to 2000. That's all it takes. With 2000 steps, it will deduct 3000 credits. But if your photo count is under 50, then 1000 steps is enough. If you have between 50 and 80, 1,500 steps is fine. For 80 and up, go with 2,000 steps. Then click the Train Your Model button. Here you can see the training has started. We will wait until the LoRa model is ready. It usually takes 7 minutes to train a LoRa, which is outstanding. Other websites, in my experience, at least need half an hour to train a LoRa model for Flux. Okay, after about nine minutes, my LoRa is ready. Now just click on these three dots and press the download button to download your LoRa. It's amazing guys, it's that easy. Confirm it here and you will see that the file is ready and downloaded. Just copy it from here and paste it into the main folder of Comfy UI and models folder then Laura's folder. Like me, you can organize it by folders. I've placed all my personal Laura's in this folder called personal and I'll drop this one in here too. I'll give it a name so I can recognize it. For example, I name it model 22. Then just go into Comfy UI and in the Laura section, which I taught you in my workflow, we can see here the power Laura loader now you can search for your LoRa model and find it and add it into the workflow. Just like that. If you want, you can also use OpenArt itself to create images from your model by clicking the Create option. Okay, here's the workflow with three personal LoRa's. As you can see, it's a bit more complex than the previous one, but it's still very easy to use. Here we have the first image, which is generated with first LoRa this one and after that we have two parts which their duty is to select one person after another the first one in the left is generated with the first Laura. the second one which is the number one selected by ai itself and we put number one here to choose which one we need to be selected and here is the woman in the middle and after that in third section ai generates the second woman just like that and the image goes to number four section and here we choose number two which is this woman and ai is selected this one then we go to the final section which generates the third woman and as you can see this is the final image after changing the woman in the right and in the middle it's the first image which was generated with first laura and this is the final result after replacing the second and third person just like that 
as I say in the previous workflow, you can choose which person you want to be changed. And to do that, simply you need to put the number 0, 1, or 2 in this node. If you choose number 2 here, you need to choose another number here, and they should not be the same. Only the difference from the previous workflow and this workflow is that I add another LoRa node for third person. And it is obvious that we need another LoRa node because we have three persons here instead of two. In the prompt section, you write your main prompt here. And in each one of these nodes, you need to put the description of these people. The first one is here. The second one is here. And the third one is here, as you can see, the image is just generated as what I asked. You see the woman in the left wear a black suit, which is here. The woman in the middle wears a formal white dress, which is this one. The woman wears formal green dress. Very simple and easy. And you see it here. Also, it is generated in the final image. Just like that. The white, the black suit, the white dress, and the green formal dress. This workflow is super powerful for anyone who needs to generate multiple people in one image with ease. Thanks for watching, guys. I see you in the next videos.